How are you, prospectors? <laughs> Tony Pilkington from Gold Talk, Leonora, dismaying 20 million bushflies. You've got to love their resilience. Um, well, another interesting day, Sunday. And poor old Daisy Teaspoons has done a starter motor. And uh, that's life, operate error. So um, uh, probably the next couple of days before that gets up to Leonora. And then we'll be back into dry blowing. But we always have plenty of irons in the fire. And this is one of our other projects we've been working on for years and years and years. And um, thought, well, why not? We'll come out and be out here. It's actually nice because Goosebumps, our D6, and Rosie, our excavator, the big girl, is out here. And geez, it's nice being on a decent sized excavator. I love Daisy Teaspoons, but it's just bloody small, only 13 tonne. So, what we're doing is um, we are uh, trying to find a route. And we've worked a lot of the alluvials around here, and there could definitely be some good pockets, but um, most of the area behind me has been worked pretty hard. And, oh, you know, without being stupid about it, probably five, six hundred ounces has come off it. So um, what we're doing now is seeing if we can find what's feeding it. And a few years back, this will be a little bit hard to, to show, but we'll give it a whirl. A few years back, we dug up this bundi and I kept it out here under the tree because just as a bit of a reminder that what we're going to be looking for and if you can see all down through here and across to there, particularly that section through there, is very different to what's going on over here. Over here we've got sort of saprolytic clays and, and crap, but over here you've got the quartz, magnetite, some other black snot and shit. That is, that is a vein. Right? Now that particular little bit of vein is barren, there's no gold in it, but it doesn't matter. The, clues that I have is that a lot of the gold that came off here was prickly. Not in terms of a secondary lateritic sense, which can be quite crumbly. Uh, this, was, this was definitely uh, not far away from where it was sourcing, but it had travelled somewhat. So where I'm standing here, we would probably be 50, 80 metres away from the main area. And so what I wanted to do was come up to where we found this uh, bit of rock, because it's correct, and see if we can track down where it came from. So we'll walk down into the area that we're working at the moment. I've got no idea how this thing will do with the stick thing that I've got rigged up. Probably most likely what's going to happen is my pants will fall down or the, I'll get tripped up and fall flat on my ass and make a silly fall out of myself. But mind you, that wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> or at least swallow 10 flies. Record for the day is 11. Oopsie daisies. Oh, I'm still nimble. <laughs> There we go. How easy was that? Um, so what we've done is, I did another video of this thing a while back, and we picked up uh, down, sorry to swing around a bit, but I've got to do it. Down around there, we're picking up a vein, or not so much the vein, we're picking up a stringer, picking up a, a little bit of quartz, again, quite what we call buck quartz, quite white. Not a lot of mineralisation in it, um, and barren. Uh, again, I don't know how well this will come up, but the seam starts over there and travels down. I can see a little bit of quartz in the wall and down to there, and that'll keep going off in that direction, which is good, because that's in the direction of the, the main patch area. So rather than dig big holes, we just came back up to the to a different level and we picked it up over here again 
All right, so basically, it's a bit hard to sort of try and describe it, but that sort of little seam there, that leader, is going at that angle, like so. All right, and so we're picking it up here. It would have been six foot over there at the surface, because we're down about two metres, maximum 1.8, something like, actually only about 1.8. And then several metres to this side, it's down, so she's down at about, about a 60 degree, uh, which is pretty standard for these sorts of things. So, and I thought this morning, I was so excited about being back on Rosie again. Um, we'll just, rather than doing a lot of excavation, we'll just follow it, and that's what we can see here. So right the way along, all in here. Lisa's been just in here cleaning it up, just double checking it. You can see it's here and along here and it keeps going and going and going. Interestingly, we've picked up another little seam coming through here, which is nice. Uh, what I'm hoping is, oh there's Lisa's been working hard over here. And so what I'm going to do is just keep working in this direction with Rosie, Australia's second greatest gold digger. Um, the mud bucket scrapes everything up. Okay, you can see the line through here. And basically what we're doing is looking for any changes. Those, that big piece of vein came from within this first two metres. So I'm hoping that somewhere around here we can intersect a little piece like that. Once the quartz starts changing, gets a little bit more mineralised, and we do dolly as we go along this, um, there's no gold in it so far, but that doesn't worry me. It's what we call a leader. And if we can strike the area where the, the vein is and find the root, yes, you heard me right, find the root, that's where we we'll, might dig a little bit deeper and see if we can follow it down. That would be exciting. So it's one of those things that this kind of work almost never pays off. <laughs> so what do you do? Um, but you keep chasing it because, you know, this is, this, is, this is where you find your one, two, three, four, five thousand ounce in, a, in an area. Um, not that we ever have, <laughs> but this is sort, sort the type of ground that you do it in. So I'm not going to leave that for someone else. We've got all the gear to do it and half an idea. So uh, we just use the, um, the GP bucket to uh, bog it out because this has already been pre-dug. You can, you can see in the wall there that that's all fill. Uh, and then the mud bucket just to scrape along here. And here comes Lisa with a six just to bit the floor just in case. And we'll just keep chasing this till we, um, till we hit the mother load. <laughs> we'll go broke trying. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed that prospectors. We'll get back to work. See ya.